if you use Windows operating system like Windows 10, 11, whatever version, but for some reason you want to ship or experience different version of OS, then either you can completely reinstall your OS or you can use VMware. But as you know, to completely reinstall your OS, it's too risky because if you messed up, you could lose all of your data. That's why it's not the best and most reliable way to experience any OS. That's why here's come the VMware. Basically, it's a tool like any application which allow you to install multiple OS on that application without affecting or causing any problem to your main operating system. I hope now you properly understand what is exactly VMware. Trust me, it's not as hard to learn as you might think. Okay, let's learn how to use VMware. First, download the VMware. and install it as like a normal application. Then download the operating system which one do you want to use like Windows 7, 10, 11 or Linux whatever you wish. Now open your VMware, make sure you are in the home tab. If your home tab is not appearing then click tab and go to the home tab. Then click create a new virtual machine or you can click file and select new virtual machine. Also shortcut is ctrl plus n. Here's come the two option. Either you can go with typical or go with custom. But most of the time typical is enough to install a operating system. Also you can later customize it. Now, select the disk image and choose the Windows ISO file which you downloaded earlier. Then click next. Now choose your virtual machine name and location where your OS will be installed. By default location will be in C drive. But if you don't have enough space in C drive then you can change the drive location. Next select the disk size. Recommended size 60 GB but you can increase it. Then you can customize your virtual machine hardware like RAM size, processor core, etc. Remember, don't go too crazy what your computer actually capable of, otherwise your virtual machine will crash. Yeah, giving your virtual machine more RAM and processor actually increase your overall virtual machine smoothing performance. Then click finish. If it start automatically, then it's fine, let it be. If it doesn't boot automatically, then click power on this virtual machine. Guys, setup process might be different based on which operating system you are installing. But there is something it almost same all of the operating system. You can easily do that. It's not even that hard. Just believe in yourself. You can do it. If you find any error while booting your operating system, then here is what you need to do. First, power off the tab. Then go to the edit virtual machine settings. Click option. Then click advance. Now choose UEFI to BIOS and hit OK. Now power on again this virtual machine and it should fix this boot problem. Now complete the few more step and you will get a new operating system. Same way you can install multiple operating system in your VMware. Remember one thing, if your mouse get locked inside of your VMware then press the Ctrl plus Alt key at once to unlock it. In case if your operating system asking you the which type of installation do you want then click custom install and make a new partition. Then click next. It will start installing your operating system. If it's not asking this then it's fine. It will automatically start installing your OS. Wait few minutes. It will really take some time. Well, it depends on your hardware capacity. Again, press Ctrl plus Alt at once to unlock the mouse if necessary. Guys, setup process is really easy. It's not that hard as you might think. Just few click, matter of time. Now you will get a new operating system where you can experiment lots of things like deleting system 32, installing multiple random virus etc etc as you wish.
या डोंट फॉरगेट टू चेंज योर डिस्प्ले रेजोल्यूशन अदरवाइज इट लुक वेरी वियर्ड और टू ए स्मॉल ऑल्सो इफ यू फाइंड योर वी एम वायर ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप फीचर इज नॉट वर्किंग देन हेयर इज हाउ टू फिक्स इट गो टू दी एम एंड इंस्टॉल वी एम वायर टूल नाउ इंस्टॉल द टूल Restart your PC. This time your drag and drop feature will work completely fine. 